Welcome to CAD tutorials and in this video we'll be covering practice problem 4.5. Now the question says using superposition find the value of i which is the current indicated there. So in the circuit we have um, one, two, three independent sources. So we expect to have three contributions to the value of i. And so i is equal to the contribution of the 16 volt uh, plus the contribution of the 4 amperes plus the contribution of the 12 volts. So let's start with the 16 volt and remove all the others. As in superposition, you know that we have to deal with one independent source at a time. So taking that 16 volts, 16 volts, right? And we have 6 ohms. And taking this out, we are basically going to have an open circuit, which is going to lead to that being in series with that and that. And this is what we're going to have. So just removing that or having an open circuit there is equivalent to having this, which is going to be 2 ohms. And we're going to have I and the contribution of 16 volt going in that direction. And this is still 8 ohms. And here we have a short circuit because we removed the 12 volts have a short circuit and finally we close the circuit like that so finding that current it's simply uh we're simply going to use ohm's law and say i due to the 16 volt is equals to so taken from ohm's law i is equals to v divided by r so the 16 volt contribution to i is therefore equals to 16 volts divided by all the resistors which are in series so we have six we have two and finally eight so adding all of those we have equals to 16 divided by this is eight and that is eight so this is 16 over 16 which is equals to um one this is one ampere right and that is the contribution of the 16 volt to i now moving on to the contribution of uh, so the 4 ampere cont contribution, uh, contribution, so this was a 16 volt contribution, which you find here as 1 amperes. And moving on to the 4 amp contribution, this is what we're going to have. So you're going to remove all those and only be left with this. So doing that, our new circuit is going to be something like this. So we have a short circuit where we have the 16 uh, volt. And we have this intact now, since we are finding its contribution. And I due to the 4 amperes. And we have 8 ohms. And we have that as a short circuit, as the 12 volt has also been removed. So now to find this, there are a couple of ways which we can uh, find that but let's use a way which you are probably familiar with at this point. So if you look, this current goes all the way around. And so this section is in series with these two sections. So the sum of, of that current and that current gives us I as a contribution of the four amperes. So our task now is to find what, uh, the total of the four and whatever is at the top is right. So how can we do that? So the simplest way to to uh, actually do this, the simply way, the simplest way, sorry, the simplest way to actually do this is to transform this circuit into something which is noticeable or something which we are much more familiar with. So what do I exactly mean by that? So I'll show you just now. So these two, you can combine as the, they are in series. You can combine to form 14. We're going to form 14. And if you check, if you check the combination of, at this point, the combination of that and that actually share two nodes with this section. So this is what I mean. So after these two become one resistor, this is what you have. Right? 
And if you look at this circuit, this 14 amperes shares this node, right? And that node with this section, which means this section is in parallel with the 14, right? So let's redraw that and continue to find the contribution of the four amperes. So let me just erase this. We know that the contribution of the 16 volt, so the country, let's write it up here. Contribution of the 16 volt is one ampere, right? That is five. So we now um, move on to find the contribution of the four amperes. So I said, uh, this is in parallel with that section which we have there. So this is, this is the outcome of combining those two in series. So we have four amperes, we have the two ohms and we have the 14 ohm. So this is, the, this is equivalent to this, exactly that. They share two nodes. So the 14 is in parallel with this section. So we just flipped it around and now we have this. So what do we want to find? We want to find this current, which is going through that point, right? So we can use our nodal analysis or we can use our current division, right? So just to be safe, you can use nodal analysis or you can use current division, let's call this I, but with a negative because this current source is pointing downwards, right? So I is equal to negative, 4 multiplied by 2 divided by 2 plus 4. So this is 8, and then this is 16. So this is negative uh, 0 0.5 amperes. Right? And that is the contribution of, of um, what's this? And that is the contribution of the, the 4 amperes to the, the I which we're interested in, right? So finally, you're gonna find the contribution of the 12 volts. But wait, this is actually if I were going down. So now, if you combine or if you turn this around, you will see that this bottom node and all of that actually goes up. And therefore, or let me put it this way, this is indicated as going like that. And so, if we flip this part around, right? If we flip it around, then this current is actually going in the opposite direction, which is uh, going up, right? So if we flip it this, if we flip this this way, then we are going to have something like this. Let me just show you. We're going to have, and this is the this is a two, right? And it's connected to the fourteen like that. This is the fourteen, and if you look at this, since they connect at this point, then this is what you're going to have, right? But if we, this is, this is when we flip this um, upwards, right? This is when we flip it upwards like that. So if we were to flip it downwards, like it is in this case, then this will also go in the opposite direction which means this negative sign shouldn't be there. But you can flip it upwards and have this case and just do regular uh, current division, right? So here we're gonna have a double negative. The first negative is because this is going downwards and the second negative is because this is going up. So if you check how the current is gonna be split, you're gonna have a double negative, which is gonna to lead to a positive. And in this case, you just do current division because this is already going up and this is going down, which is the normal convention, normal convention, and you'd have a positive answer. And that's why we have 0 0.5 amperes, right? So the contribution of the four amperes is equals to uh, 0 0.5 amperes. And now finally, we have to find the contribution of the 12 volts, right? So the contribution of the 12 volts is, we now take uh, everything else out. So we take the 16 volt out and we, uh, we should uh, only be left with what we're interested in. So that uh, closes like that. So we are only interested in this case in the 12 volts and its contribution. So this is what we have, so 12 volts. 
so let's uh, let's go around this let's go around this loop so all of this is the current i due to the contribution of 12 volts so we're going to have 6 um, 6 i plus 2 i plus 8 i plus 12 is equal to 0 and combining all of those this is uh, 16 yeah this is 16 i plus 12 is equal to 0 taking this 12 to the other side of the negative side we have uh, negative 12 and then dividing both sides by let's see let's see what can we divide by let's divide by 4 so dividing both sides by 4 we're going to have 4i is equal to negative 3 and then dividing that dividing that we're going to have i is equal to negative 3 over 4 which is negative 0 0.75 right and the contribution of the 12 volt is therefore equal to negative 0 0.75 right amperes and we now find the final answer for r using um superposition the contribution of the 16 is 1 amp the contribution of the 4 amps is 0 0.5 and the contribution of the 12 volt is negative 0 0.75 so this is 1 plus uh 0 0.5 which is 1.5 subtract that since this is twice of the sum of that then your answer will be 0 0.75 amperes. And therefore, I, using superposition, is equal to 0 0.75 amperes.